you brought up taxes and the the inefficiency there. Just just one last thing before I uh, go. Um, I'm going to put in 101 years. Think in your mind, what do you think $20, just one time investment of $20 at 20% would earn over 101 years? Now, why 20%? I mean, it wasn't that long ago that people's idea of risk was, well, you mean the market might get down to 20%. It might go as low as 20, right? So put in $20. Did anybody guess a billion nine hundred eighty-seven million six hundred thirty-one thousand three hundred eighty-nine dollars, <laughs> or even in the ballpark? One twenty-dollar investment earning twenty percent over one hundred and one years is almost two billion dollars. Now, there's a reason I went back to one hundred and one years because one hundred and one years ago, one of the biggest scams on the U.S. public was put in place and that was a temporary never to exceed 7% income tax. <laughs> Once they get their foot in the door there's you know no stopping them. So we've seen this thing all over the board. This seems pretty hard to believe but it existed. In fact um, Reagan has in his memoirs that after his first movie um, that's what and he saw the taxation he was getting, he was getting hit 92 cents on the dollar that um, that moved him from a liberal Democrat to a conservative Republican. So it's been up and down and all over. We've steadily gotten rid of um, incentives. And so there's no choice now because the only thing left is our home mortgage. And they've dabbled on that, but I think that's going to be a dangerous one. Um, they've got to start raising the rates in order to create more revenue now. They've played all the games. But we see over that time frame that there's a 58.4% average minimum tax. I'm just going to do 50% just so it's easier to calculate. How much money are we going to have down here at the end if we pay taxes across this time based on 50% average? Should be close to a billion, right? Okay, how about 303,000? Now, one of the things that Art Laffer, y'all know who Art is? Anyway, Art Laffer was the economist behind Reaganomics, really. And and Art said the problem with the income tax and the rates being so high in the U.S. is not only is it a, a terrible incentive killer, it really kills production. Because people look at it as, why am I going to work an extra hour if they're going to take you know, 50% of my next hour's income? So it's an incentive killer. But the other side of it, from a mathematical standpoint, and this is the, the really amazing thing, is the federal government ends up with less. Look at this. You look at that. We lost almost $2 billion. Who got the difference? It seems like the federal government should. But all they got was 303000 as well. So what happens is $2 billion evaporated. That's the real killer with the income tax. And like Nelson said earlier, he said, you know, anything they take in, they're going to spend. I would change that to anything they take in, they're going to spend twice as much. All right. Um, and, and that's where the problem is. So <laughs> they have killed the goose laying the golden egg by taxing us at such a high rate over this time frame. And what Art Laffer said was, what happens if we reduce the income tax? That's what we need to do. It would increase incentive. People would be more motivated to work a little bit more. What happens? Let's go to 50%, 40%, sorry. We'd be happier. Now we have a million eight. But look what happened to the federal government. They moved from 303,000 up to a million two. What if we go to 30%? We have 11 million. Federal government has 5 million. If we go to 20... 64 million for us, 16 million for the federal government. Go down to 10. Go down to 6. And this is about the break point right here based on a 20% income. 6% is about the break point. Below that, they start losing money. Above that, they start losing money. Six and a half, somewhere along in there. What's interesting is based on a 10% rate of return, somewhere around 14.5% is the break even point. What were they talking about with the flat tax? And who are the number one capitalists in the world right now? The Russians. Yep. Now, how do you like that? And the Russians went to a 13% income tax, and their economy is booming. 